everybody, and welcome to episode 47 of Daisy Knits. I'm Daisy, and we're hanging out here together in the floor of my craft room. So, I got a few things to show you. You want to see? First off, we'll start with hubby socks. These are out of Heidi from the Undead Yarn Company. I got a double sock blink. Sorry, that's lunch heating up in the oven. I had gotten a double stranded sock blink and I frogged, I re them separately and I washed them because I don't like ramen noodle yarn because I'm picky like that for my socks and then I ball wound it up and I have two socks going concurrently. Forget how big his foot is some days. <laughs> I love my husband. Socks are not a big deal, but I forget sometimes that he's got a bigger foot. So I love, though, how these are working up. My stitch marker is so I can track because I just did one and I just knit until I was like, okay, that's a good chunk. And then I set it aside and then I cast on the other one and I knit. And I was like, oh, I probably need to start counting soon. So I move the stitch markers up by 10 or 20 rows every once in a while just so I can keep them the same length without me counting constantly. That's what those are. So we are getting into, I'm starting to get some of this yellow in this one. This one's not quite as far, but I'm starting to get really good into the yellow. It's a vanilla sock pattern, 72 stitches, toe up, and I'm gonna do a German short row. It's just, a, to me, it's a vanilla sock that he is very excited about. I showed it to him. I haven't had him try them on yet, but I showed it to him, and he is very excited about these. Originally, I thought about putting them away for Christmas, but I don't have the heart to because he saw them, and he's like, I really like them. So he'll probably get them as soon as they come off the needles. All right. Last week, I told you that I was really struggling with this pattern, and I was challenged, and it was all me. And you know what? It really was all me. <laughs> I am so pretty. So I started the Pearlless Pattern by Romy Hill out of my Cyborg Crafters Northern Lights colorway. Here's it in the ball. And last, I think last week when I went to show it up, I told you I thought I was wrong again. And I had frogged it like three or four times. Yeah. FYI, if you read the pattern all the way through, really read it. Don't just think, okay, I got what's going on, because then you look pretty like me, and you're a dork. Actually, I'm just a giant goober, and I'm okay with that, but I'll show you. So last week, I had just finished, like I was right about here, and I realized my lace head was going the wrong way. It wasn't lining up again. You know what? It's not supposed to line up all the way through. The lace changes direction. It makes a V. And I looked at the pattern. I saw it. I thought it was beautiful diamonds. But I couldn't wrap my brain around a diamond meant the lace had to go the opposite direction. Because <laughs> I would get about two or three rows and I'd be like, oh, my lace isn't lining up again. Something's wrong. I've messed it up. I didn't mess it up. It's supposed to go that direction. So you go down or you go up. Oh. So after I sat down with this, I think I sat down with this Saturday and I just said, okay, I have got to figure out what I'm going on. This is just going to frustrate me too much. And I like highlighted each row and I did the full diamond and I went, oh, <laughs> I'm such a goober. But I picked it up now and I'm halfway through my third little diamond down here. Can you see that? And I gotta say, these colors today are showing up beautifully. They are, they're really gorgeous. I am so tickled with this. I think you do five of these diamonds, and as you can tell, my garter out here is getting a lot bigger, so it's gonna take up more yarn, but I love how it's working up. So I'm very grateful for this one. Um, like I said, now that I've figured out what the heck is going on, and I've gotten over my goober moment. Yeah. So pretty. This is what I've been doing at home. I've been taking the socks with me out and about the shawl has been at home mostly as my brain candy knitting. 
now that I figured it out. And then I pulled out some of my master knitter stuff again. And I have a wristlet. I'm so proud of this. So I had a goober moment and now I'm gonna have a redemption moment here. Just saying. We're gonna we're just gonna own it all today. Redemption moment right here. So I spent three days working this pattern. Part of that was it didn't really take me three days to knit it. It took me three days of focus. Although now I say that and I realize that I got a something boo-boo right there. I sure do. I got a pretty right there. Oh, so pretty. So many pretties this week. Anyways, this is my lineup, and I know that my seam where I join is not good enough to pass. I'm not happy with it. I've got a little bit of a hole where I didn't pull quite tight enough when I was weaving in my ends, but overall, I am really proud of my stitches. I have a few legs here and there that are a bit long and wonky. Um, I will probably take a needle or a crochet hook and kind of even those up just a little bit. There's a few glaring ones, but overall, I'm super proud of this. And it, it's done. First one in the bag, again. So I blocked it, I'm really happy with it, and we're gonna try it again. I did only work on this though when I had time to truly focus on just this. So if the kids were running through, I didn't mess with it. If, um. There was a lot of background stuff happening. I didn't mess with it. I only picked it up when I could just focus on this. So it took me three days to get that little bitty, that little bitty swatch took me three days. But I think it's three days worth it because this is a really good one, to be honest. Minus that boo-boo, whatever I've done there. But we will make sure that doesn't happen again. Yes. So I will be casting on another one. This just came off my blocking board this more actually it came off my blocking bottle this morning so I will be casting on another one shortly probably not this afternoon but this week another one will go on and we will get back to it so that's what I have going on there hasn't been any spinning um come check out the group as always if you have questions don't hesitate to give me a holler and I will say I don't have a lot of future knitting planned yet. I do want to get what I've got on the needles, but also I'm picking back up the master knitter. There's been a lot of changes. If you are following that, there's been some changes. They've instituted kind of a deadline, not deadline. There's extensions you can get, but they've kind of instituted deadlines. So I feel like for me, it's a bit of a jump start. I need to get my button gear and get going. That's what I'm doing. So I hope that you've enjoyed it. Have a chat with me, um, and I will see you next week.